Hi everyone, this is Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. Today I have a jewelry unboxing for you. This one is from ThreadUp. This is their five pound box of jewelry. It is a box that can have any sort of jewelry in it and in any shape. So we could find new, old, wearable, fixable. Mostly I hope that there'll be some great sellable pieces in here because I'm a full-time seller on eBay and I am hoping to be able to flip some of these pieces for profit. Let's get started. Get my handy dandy scissors here. And here's what we see when we open the box. Whoa. Well, they didn't. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> There's the Ziploc top and the bottom was bottomless. So since the bag they had it in was only closed on one side and didn't actually have a bottom, I'm going to just dump it out over here and start pulling things out. And the first item coming out is this really pretty necklace. The necklace has these really pretty turquoise colored beads, the graduated sizes, larger in the front and smaller going back. And they are faceted. I'm noticing that there are knots in between each bead. I really love the findings they used for the end of the beads. This happens to be J. Crew, And there's the J. Crew jewelry tag. That's a really great start to the box. I'm very pleased and I'm definitely going to be able to sell this. I want to take a minute to explain how I'm going to sort this jewelry out as I unbox it. If it's something I'm going to sell, it's going to go in the sell pile. And if it's something I'm not going to sell that might be broken or something it needs fixing that I don't want to fix, I'll be putting it in a craft lot. And also I am beginning to make mystery lots that I will be selling mystery lot group of jewelry in about 10 pieces for about $30 plus shipping. So that's how I'm organizing the unboxing today. Here's another J. Crew piece. This is a cute pair of dangle earrings with a faux pearl bead and then a pink and a red crochet bead. This is new on the card and there's a sticker on the back. So that's a really cute pair of earrings and I'm definitely going to sell those. The next item here is a bracelet by Pura Vita, if I'm saying that correctly. It's a new with tags. There's no price on the other side. This is a little lapis charm on here on a white cord that looks clean actually. You never know sometimes with these cords and it's got the P jewelry mark on there. This one I'm not sure it would be worth listing or not. I'll have to look into it so I'll put this aside and look further into it to decide whether or not to list it in my store. Next is a pair of copper colored fashion earrings. It even just says fashion earrings right there on the card, $3.99. These are actually really cute. I love the wire wrapping around them. The reason I am gonna put these in a craft lot is you can see that the finish on this is really nice copper color, but the one on this one, it's pretty worn off. So someone could give these a good painting and good, be good as new. So I'll be putting those in the craft lot. <laughs> Whoa, check these earrings out. These are pink sequin and seed bead earrings. They are dangles. They are quite the statement. Back of them are gold tone and I'm seeing something printed there. These earrings are from Bobble Bar. I'm really not surprised to find out that these are Bobble Bar. Bobble Bar makes really fun, playful jewelry. Love these. I now sell them. This is a very pretty necklace. It's a long gold tone necklace with textured leaf charms. It also has taupe colored crystals hanging between each leaf. This is really pretty. The chain on it is a Rolo chain. It has a lobster clasp, but there is no maker's mark on this one. Something like this I may put in a mystery lot. Next is this corded bracelet. This is also from J. Crew, and it has these gold tone finishes on it with crystal. It, it's a sort of reminds me of a nautical rope and it's pretty clean actually. It's a very bright blue and it's actually quite attractive. This one I will put for sale. 
Take a look at these earrings. These are Kendra Scott earrings. They are still on the card. The card has a tear in it, but I think I can tape it up in the back so it looks a little bit better. The setting on these is an ivory mother of pearl shell and it has a gold tone textured frame. These I will definitely be selling. If you do see anything in this video that you might be interested in purchasing, I'll put my email on the screen right here. It's kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com. Drop me a line and we can work something out. And Larry? Yeah? I haven't forgotten about you. I want to say you are doing a fantastic job bringing me luck in this box today. Just do my job. Well, you are doing a great job. Ah, uh, thank you. This is a pretty awesome necklace. At first I was sure it was vintage, but right away I noticed the clasp, which is very much a signature of J. Crew. And sure enough, you can see the tag is right there, J. Crew. But this is made like a vintage necklace. It's got a bunch of plastic beads linked together. And every so often are these little crystal rondelles and gold tone with a clear crystal there. You can wear it long like this, or you could probably double it up. Let's see. Yeah, you could definitely double this up and wear it like this. Very cool necklace. Next, we have this watch. This is a fossil watch and it's got a leather band. It's kind of got a three strands to it, two brown and then a gold metallic. The band itself is in excellent shape. There are three spots right there, but I'd be afraid to try to get those out. You might be able to, but I don't want to mess with it. And it looks like it might need a battery. But other than that, uh, it looks like it's in brand new shape. It's got a fold over clasp and the clasp is also stamped with fossil. This is a very nice watch. I will definitely be listing this one as well. This is a necklace. It's still on the card. It looks like it might have been inside of a box, but it looks brand new. It's on a gold tone chain. It's a delicate chain and there is a sign for Virgo and it says it's a 14 karat gold dipped with CZs and there's a better look at the pendant in the chain. It's another one that's going in my cell pile. And here's another stretchy bracelet, much like the one we had earlier, except this one is uh, made with black beads and has more of a gunmetal setting. Here was the one we had earlier. This is a gold tone setting with the red beads. And then there was this one that was very similar as well. So maybe I'll lock the three of them up. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to see. The next item coming out here is this brown bangle bracelet. It's got a really cool design and it almost looks like an inlay design. It, I can't tell if this is plastic or wood. If it is wood, it's got sort of a shellac covering on it and really pretty inlay. Looks like it could even be abalone. This one I might either list online or put in a mystery lot. I'm not sure yet. The mystery lots are all going to have wearable jewelry in them, by the way. Wearable or resellable if you're a reseller. So this is definitely resellable and it's definitely wearable. Look at this fancy bracelet. Check the sparkle out on this one. And I'm looking to see if there are any missing crystals and they all seem to be there. This bracelet is a stretchy it's pretty fancy. It's pretty. <laughs> Very glittery and blingy. Let's see what it looks like on. Ooh, I am liking this bracelet. This will definitely be one that I sell. Here's another blingy piece. This is nice. Are you guys liking this box as much as I am? Let me know in the comment section. I think it's a fabulous box. This one has cobalt blue and clear crystals all around. It's a choker style necklace and it's got an adjustable clasp. I don't see a name on this one. This is what the back looks like. I really like this. This is definitely going in the cell pile. Here's a unique pendant necklace. It's a rusty orange enameled horn pendant and it has these light blue crystals on it. I am seeing right there that there is one missing. Let's see if there are any more missing. I think that's the only one that I see missing. This chain that it's on is a gold tone Rolo chain. It's a very good shape. I don't know what the meaning of RC is on this. This is magnetic. Even the pendant has a magnetic draw to this magnet. 
It's such an unusual piece. I'm just undecided on listing it because of the missing crystal, but you know, I have listed plenty of things with little flaws like this and they have sold. So again, I gotta think about this one. Here's a really pretty bangle bracelet. It's actually hinged. So it opens like this and this is also J. Crew. I've gotten a lot of J. Crew pieces in this, and I am not complaining. J. Crew is a great seller for me. Um, this one has a navy blue and ivory enamel stripe on it. It's in really great shape. So this goes in the sell pile. Here is another bracelet. It's stamped with coach. It's a navy blue enamel and it's got silver tone details on the inside and on the frame. I am just not sure if this is authentic. There is the logo on the inside right there. And there's the coach logo there. And there's a stamp that says China. Now is that normal? I don't know, I have to research this. It's a great looking bangle. It's a wide one. And I do like the logo and the design of this. I'll have to figure out if this is authentic or not. If it is, great, <laughs> I'm very happy. And if it's not, of course, I won't be selling it. I'm just hoping that it's real. What do you guys think? Here are two pair of really fun silver tone earrings. These are star hoop earrings, sort of an open star. And then I am seeing lightning bolts here. You guys see the same thing? I didn't see any sort of stamp on these, but they are really fun. I think they will sell. Here comes another stretchy. This one has a coral color Buddha head on it and then clear crystal beads set in gold tone and then some really pretty green beads. I believe the green beads are plastic. Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are plastic. It looks like it had a price tag on it that someone cut off. I think this little guy here will sell. So I'm going to put him in my sell pile. Here were some loose Pandora style beads are floating around in the box here. And I have them separated out because I did notice that these have stamps on it like 925 and these don't, but I'm going to put the magnet to them all right now. Let's start with these that have the stamp. There's not attracted to the magnet. Let's see if these are now, these aren't either, and these aren't marked at all. So I'm gonna test all of them, and I'll put it on the screen if group A had any sterling silver beads, and if group B had any sterling silver beads. Here's a closer look at the group A beads. These are very pretty glass beads, and that cute little owl, too. Had to show him off. And here's the closer view of group B beads. Really beautiful glass beads. And then that adorable silver tone bear bead with a pink enamel bow. Isn't that cute? I just took a closer look at this little bear bead and you can see it says S925 on the top and then here on the bottom it says ALE. Now that is a Pandora bead. So this is definitely a Pandora bead, this little bear. I'll have to look up to see what they go for and I'm really happy. He's just adorable. I should say she has a pink bow, so it's a little girl bear. And in keeping with the charm theme, this little charm bracelet was in there too. It's a serpentine bracelet chain and it's not sticking to the magnet. Let's see about the beads. Oop, this, oh, that scared me. <laughs> this bead is sticking to the magnet even though it looks like it has a mark on there. I wanted to show you the mark on that bead that was just so attracted to the magnet. It is stamped with 925, so I'm still gonna test it. I'll put it on the screen whether I found it was 925 or not, but it sure was attracted to the magnet. And the yellow bead, that was also 925 mark, and that wasn't attracted to the magnet. So I'll test all these little beads out. Would you look at the detail in this statement necklace? Where to start? Well, it's a gold tone oblong chain, really bold chain. We'll take a closer look at that in a second. 
but I can't take my eyes off, off of all this bling. I'm noticing that these neon yellow teardrop shaped cabochons are in really cool contrast with these more jewel tones here. And I also am noticing that a couple of these parts of the pendant are stacked. Here's how the cobalt blue part of the pendant is stacked. Look at the detail on this all sorts of colors. It's mixing the neon with jewel tone with even the pastel colors. This chain is made with antique gold tone oval links, some longer than others. Are you surprised to find out that this is J. Crew? I'm not. This is one of the prettiest statement necklaces I've seen in a while from J. Crew. Really love this piece. Here are four gold tone chain bracelets really pretty every single one is a little bit different but they all have sort of a fade to them to the gold finish on these so these will all end up in a craft lot here is a very sparkly statement necklace every other rhinestone down here is covered with mesh there it is you can see it better i'm also noticing that there are some missing crystals out of this one I am definitely going to put this in the craft lot. I think someone will get great use out of some of these rhinestones. Here's a necklace still on the card. Sterling silver prayer box. That says sterling silver 18 inch chain. Open your prayer box, place your prayer inside, and wear close to your heart. $50. This is brand new. Yeah, $50. It says the same on the back. Let's take a closer look here. It has a cross on the front and a little crystal just in the center. Let's try to open this up. Oh, this is so cute. Isn't that adorable? Oh, I just know someone's going to love this. Here's an interesting piece. This is a necklace. This is made with links made from mother of pearl beads. And then it's got these gold tone hammered links here. And then these are little tiny beads linked together into a loop. And look, there's a jewelry tag on there that says Sigrid Olsen. I didn't know that she made jewelry. I knew that she was a fashion designer, but I didn't know that she was into jewelry. I'm going to look up Sigrid Olsen jewelry and see what kind of resale value it has. If I decide not to list it individually, I think it would make a great addition to the mystery lots that I'm putting together. This is really a unique pair of earrings. I'm not sure if they're homemade or not, but they sure are different. We've got a cluster of beads here, and then we've got two faceted crystal beads here, a gold tone bead, and then a coiled long bead connecting down to the bottom. I'm thinking they're artisan made, and I think they're so unique. Someone is going to love these earrings. Here's a silver tone cuff bracelet. It is really cute. It's got these little discs on each side, one bigger than the other, and it's got clear crystals in each one. There is something on the back. The back is marked Stella and Dot. This is great. It's in great shape. I don't see anything wrong with it. It's not scuffed up or anything. This is definitely going to be in the cell pile. I really love the design of this bracelet. On this side is a bright pink enamel, and on the opposite side, there are clear crystals. All the crystals are there. This feels like a quality piece. Oh, and look, there are these little cutout hearts all around it. This is marked Pandora S925 ALE and the number three. I'm not sure what the significance of that number is. Totally thrilled to find this bracelet in this thread up box, and of course, it's going to go in my cell pile. Here is a J. Crew necklace. There's the jewelry tag right there. I call this the bubble necklace. I have had a few of these in different colors and I've listed them and I've sold every single one of them. They've been around for a while. This one is a lot of fun because of the bright color yellow. And also I've never quite seen cabochons like this. These are faceted and have a slight point to them. I'll show you. You can see how the cabochon has a slight point to it. And you can see the facets there. And of course, they have little round beads dangling down from each end here. Here's a necklace that has what looks like a tree of life pendant. It's got a, a twisted trunk. I really think this is pretty. 
There are these two-tone green leaves all over it, and the leaves are made with these swirls of the silver. Isn't that pretty? Here you can see the pendant better. And look at this delicate chain. Isn't that beautiful? At the very end of the chain, they have two little leaf endings on it and then the lobster clasp. I'm going to check the magnet on this. The magnet doesn't stick to the pendant and it's not sticking to the chain either. And you may know already the reason it might be sticking to this lobster clasp is because there's a mechanism inside of the lobster clasp that is not sterling silver. And lo and behold, there is a 925 stamp on the back of the pendant. I'm not surprised. It feels like a nice necklace. This is a really sweet piece. I am going to put that in a cell pile. Here is a really cute brand new bracelet. This is from Ann Taylor. And these are oval links. Every other one is faux tortoise and uh, crystal covered links set in gold tone. It's got a toggle clasp. This retails for $48. Here are the two jewelry tags. One has Ann Taylor's name and the other one is her logo. I love the bracelet and I'll be selling it. Here's another nice bracelet. This is a gold tone polished bangle bracelet and I see it says heart of gold in there and Kate Spade has messages like that sometimes in hers and it is a Kate Spade bracelet. This looks like it's in pretty good shape. It has some wear. It might be able to be polished just some very light surface scratches, but I'm going to check out if I can get this shined up a little bit better and I will more than likely list this. Next is another nice bracelet, another coach bracelet. Now this one feels like a really great quality bracelet. It's got the C logo all over it, all around it. And the inside does have the coach engraving there and there and then that says China so again I need to make sure that this is authentic but this one feels really great I will check out to see if I can authenticate this and if I can I'll be selling it we've had some really bold statement necklaces in this lot this is one of the more delicate pieces really sweet little arrow pendant here it's got a great brilliance, the silver tone, and there's a better look at what the chain is like. It's a really cute necklace. C and I is Chloe and Isabel, and I have sold several Chloe and Isabel pieces before. I just found another charm. It looks like a three-tiered wedding cake with a gold heart on top. There's the hole for the charm. There are hearts on the bottom. And you can see that it's stamped with S925ALE, so this is another Pandora charm. How adorable. Here's a group of earrings, all of which I think I'm going to sell. These are just really colorful drop earrings. Each layer has a Rivoli crystal and all sorts of colors surrounding it. So these are really pretty. Those are set in gold tone, sort of an antique gold tone. I'm pretty sure I've sold these earrings before. I think they're fossil brand earrings. And these are antique gold tone hoops, a couple of links connecting a crystal encrusted cross. And it's, they're really pretty. The cross is double sided. So I'm definitely going to be selling those. These are a brass tone teardrop. I love the colors that are painted on this. They're pretty lightweight. This might be a pair that I either put in a mystery lot or I might keep them. <laughs> I like the colors a lot. And this is a pair of polished silver tone, but they're hammered. They're sort of organic circle shape. There's a clear crystal in each one and the ear wires just need to be switched out with a brand new pair of ear wires because they are turning. But I don't know if the light is doing them justice. They're really pretty. I think I'm going to go ahead and sell these. Next is a longer necklace. This has silver tone chain and some really cool beads that look like half circles. I don't know what the style of this chain is called. It's really pretty. This has textured and polished little links in it. And look at these beads. They're half circles in green, a dark blue, and a turquoise blue. Really cool the way this is laid out. 
The necklace has a loft jewelry tag and a lobster clasp. This double strand chain bracelet here has a really brilliant gold tone sheen. It's a really bright, beautiful color. OTC Italy is stamped on this side. The other side is stamped with 18 karat GEP B Z. I have no clue what that means. I'll have to look that up. It's got a toggle clasp and I'm going to keep that aside and do the research and figure out what those stamps mean, but I will be putting this in my cell pile. Here's another more delicate piece. It's got delicate silver tone chain. It's really pretty chain and a pink and purple crystal flower. The jewelry tag on here is Cookie Lee. This looks like a brand new piece. It looks like it had a, a price tag that someone ripped off and left a little elastic on there. Here's another J. Crew necklace. This one has peach colored long teardrop shaped beads. They're faceted and looks like there's knots between each bead. The end of the necklace is finished with this ribbon tied on. It's kind of dirty. I would personally remove the ribbon and I might do that and maybe try to sell it that way or maybe put it in the craft lot. I am not sure. Depends on what it looks like when I remove the ribbon. The chain is in great shape and it's pretty. It's a oval rollo type of chain. It's double strand on each side and there is the J. Crew tag right there. So I have to get a sense of what this one might look like once I cut those dirty ribbons off right there. And I might try to sell it or it might end up in my craft lot. This is a cool necklace. Looks like these teardrop faceted quartz stones and it has these silver and gold tone chain tassels at the end. And then as you go up, there are these linked beads. These are wooden and more quartz here gold tone chain, more beads, and finished with gold tone. So it looks like this is to be worn lariat style. It's very attractive. I might put that in a mystery lot. I don't know yet. I'm not sure. Tell me what you think. Should I put this in the mystery lot or should I try to sell it individually? Here are two beaded necklaces with green beads. The beads are plastic. I think it's amazing how beautiful some plastic beads are. Here you can see that the beads are sort of see-through and I love the fastening on them and there are these really pretty flat spacer beads in between. Has some gold tone oval chain and this one also are plastic beads with different shades of green and some browns really earthy looking and also have those same flat spacer beads as pretty as these necklaces are these are going to go in the craft lot this five pound thread up rescue box was a pretty awesome i don't know if i could even pick a favorite piece i'd love to hear what you guys think Leave me some comments down below if you thought the box was as fabulous as I do and if you had any favorite pieces in the box. There is one more thing. I wanna give some special thanks to my friend. Larry, you did a fabulous job and bringing me luck with the pieces in this box. I wanna thank you. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. <laughs> Thanks guys for joining me for another video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.